going to die in the mud. See ya. Going down the stairs. Smells like chlorine. Or is that what it also smells like? I don't know why I'm talking funny. Here we are. Must therefore come more to the west region of the sediment than 
Greetings, fellow time travelers. Let's go back to the beginning of time itself. Oh God. Would you believe it? The first hominids only two million years ago. And dinosaurs, 
Oh, around on Earth for 165 million years. Some strange creatures walked to land 380 million years ago. 580 million years ago, there was an explosion of different life forms in the seas. And an astonishing 3.5 billion years ago, it was only simple bacterial life. The early Earth was bombarded by meteorites around 4 billion years ago. Our planet was born from the material left over from the formation of our star, the Sun, all the 4.54 billion years ago. And as galaxies converge, we emerged 13.8 billion years ago at the beginning of time. Oh. All right, time travelers, welcome aboard our spaceship. Come up here. Well, uh, if you'd like to look up the windows up to the front here, I'm going to leave you in the careful hands here, Captain Odie. Just here. Odie. I'm going to take you all the way back to the big bang. Enjoy. All systems checked. Warp engine primed. Ready to engage time dilator. Singularity locked in target screen. Five. Four, three, two, one, engage. Universe age zero seconds. Welcome, time travelers. You are about to witness the birth of the universe. All space, time, energy, and matter in a tiny, dense, immensely hot point. The point is not in anything, it is everything. This is the Big Bang. Switching screen to 21 centimeter wavelength. The universe continues to expand and cool. In the blackness of space, gravity is forcing the hydrogen to collect and concentrate into massive swirling clouds. The first galaxies. Inside these young galaxies, Something is happening that will light up the universe. Universe age one billion years. Pockets of hydrogen gas are collecting together. As their mass increases, they attract more and more hydrogen to form supermassive clouds of hydrogen gas. At a critical tipping point, the pressure caused by gravity forces the hydrogen nuclei at the core to fuse with their neighbors. The energy released creates a chain reaction from the cloud, and a star is born. Across the universe, in billions of galaxies, trillions of stars are igniting. These stars eventually reach a balance between the force of the nuclear reactions at the core pushing outwards, and the force of gravity holding the star together. As the stars burn their hydrogen in a process called fusion, they create new elements like helium and oxygen. The largest of these early stars have very short lifespans, burning through their hydrogen in just a few million years. When the hydrogen runs out, the internal pressure drops and gravity takes over, collapsing the core. The collapsing material then rebounds in a giant explosion known as a supernova. Gamma radiation warning. Closing shields. Unsafe levels for humans. Moving ship to safe distance. Universe age 3 billion years. A supernova 
releases as much energy as your sun will produce in its entire lifetime. All the heavier elements in the universe like iron, copper and gold are forged in these catastrophic events. enriches a galaxy with a soup of new elements. Over time, they form clouds called nebulae. In a spiral arm of one galaxy called the Milky Way, something is growing deep inside a nebula. New timeline, solar system, universe age 9.2 billion years. A disk of gas and dust has formed. At the center, a dense cloud of hydrogen is about to ignite into a star you will one day call the Sun. In a rotating disk that surrounds the newborn Sun, material is starting to clump together to form blocks of rock and ice. Close into the young Sun, rocky materials are plentiful. Here, the planets Mercury, Venus, Mars, and your own Earth are forming. Universe age 9.3 billion years. Earth age 0 years. New timeline. Descent to planet surface. Closing shields. Breaking sequence initiated. Time jump path locked and correct. Altitude 10,000. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Landing confirmed. Earth age 2 billion years. As the Earth cools, moisture in its atmosphere condenses and it begins to rain. Every water molecule contains two hydrogen atoms, each formed when the universe was young. There is also one oxygen atom, forged in the heart of a star. Water is a molecule on which all life on Earth depends. The Earth is powerful enough for you to leave the ship. Enjoy exploring this dynamic... Alright, you guys, welcome back to Planet Earth. Now, unfortunately, Odie is not the best of pilots, and he's landed you all in an active volcano. So in here, you're going to experience some shaky floors and bright flashing lights. If you don't want to experience that, just step to either side of the gallery or through the doors on the far side. Odie, and he's going to take you all the way back to the Big Bang. Enjoy. Hello, small life forms. My name is Odie. All systems checked. Warp engine primed. Ready to engage time dilator. Singularity locked in target screen. Five, four, three, two, one. Engage. Universe age zero seconds. Welcome time travelers. You are about to witness the birth of the universe. All space, time, energy, and matter in a tiny, dense, immensely hot point. The point is not in anything, it is everything. This is the Big Bang. Has 
expand it rapidly and is incredibly hot and dense. The first matter is beginning to form. Universe age 380,000 years. Hydrogen nuclei are combining with electrons. The first complete atoms have formed and light is starting to travel freely throughout the universe. Universe age 200 million years. Switching screen to 21 centimeter wavelength. The universe continues to expand and cool. In the blackness of space, gravity is forcing the hydrogen to collect and concentrate into massive swirling clouds. The first galaxies. Inside these young galaxies, something is happening that will light up the universe. Universe age one billion years. Pockets of hydrogen gas are collecting together. As their mass increases, they attract more and more hydrogen to form supermassive clouds of hydrogen gas. At a critical tipping point, the pressure caused by gravity forces the hydrogen nuclei at the core to fuse with their neighbors. The energy released creates a chain reaction through the cloud, and a star is born. Across the universe, in billions of galaxies, trillions of stars are igniting. These stars eventually reach a balance between the force of the nuclear reactions in the core pushing outwards, and the force of gravity holding the star together. As the stars burn their hydrogen in a process called fusion, they create new elements like helium and oxygen. The largest of these early stars have very short lifespans, burning through their hydrogen in just a few million years. When the hydrogen runs out, the internal pressure drops and gravity takes over, collapsing the core. The collapsing material then rebounds in a giant explosion known as a supernova. Gamma radiation warning. Closing shields. Unsafe levels for humans. Moving ship to safe distance. Universe age 3 billion years. A supernova releases as much energy as your sun will produce in its entire lifetime. All the heavier elements in the universe like iron, copper and gold are forged in these catastrophic events. explosion enriches a galaxy with a soup of new elements. Over time, they form clouds called nebulae. In a spiral arm of one galaxy called the Milky Way, something is growing deep inside a nebula. New timeline, solar system, universe age 9.2 billion years. A disk of gas and dust has formed. At the center, a dense cloud of hydrogen is about to ignite into a star you will one day call the Sun. In a rotating disk that surrounds the newborn Sun, material is starting to clump together to form blocks of rock and ice. Close into the young Sun, rocky materials are plentiful. Here, the planets Mercury, Venus, Mars, and your own Earth forming. Universe age 9.3 billion years. Earth age zero years. New timeline. Mountain-sized blocks of rock and ice continue to rain down on Earth for millions of years. They carry the water that will eventually form the Earth's oceans. Prepare for descent to planet surface. Closing shields. Breaking sequence initiated. Time jump path locked and correct. Altitude 10,000. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Landing confirmed. Earth age 2 billion years. 
As the earth cools, moisture in its atmosphere condenses and it begins to rain. Every water molecule contains two hydrogen atoms, each formed when the universe was young. There is also one oxygen atom forged in the heart of a star. Water is the molecule on which all life on Earth depends. The Earth is now cool enough for you to leave the ship. Enjoy exploring this dynamic planet. Hello, welcome back to Planet Earth. Unfortunately, in this next gallery, you are going to experience some shaking for the bright flashing lights. Booty is not the best of pilots.
crust is always forming beneath the oceans. To make room for it, older crust must somehow be destroyed. That happens when one plate overrides another. Melting takes place, and the volcanism is much more violent. The undersea plate of which you are riding is about seven kilometers thick. It is much heavier than the light crust of the continent as 8,000 kilometer coastline we are approaching. The oceanic crust is about to be pulled by its own weight into the searing heat of the Earth's mantle rock. The juddering plates trigger earthquakes. Pressure increases 15,000 times. Seawater in the crust at 1,000 degrees Celsius causes mantle rock to melt, rise, and explode at the surface. Such ridges, meltwater may form a lake. 
The retreat and advance of glaciers during successive ice ages has left a crumpled blanket of debris across many landscapes. When ice first relinquishes its grip, the ground revealed has been roughened by the glacier's work, leaving deep valleys bounded by rocky scree and cradling mountain lakes.
like some. Oh, and is there an animal in here? Is this? Oh wow, we've updated this. Oh my god, there's so many new people. Discover the deep. We've also updated that. Our blue planet. Over 70% of the Earth's surface is covered by a vast ocean. Many ocean mists form one connected to the ocean. The largest mist is the It's where life is first brought to the world. The ocean is also powered by a support system. Always moving from the ocean distance into the nutrients and the global conveyor.
fish stocks are all very exploited. And here in the bench, I work with local fish and I understand the loss of populations for the future management of these stocks. I work on the fishing vessels and I record the number of these animals, the length of these animals, and the weight of these animals. And we add this to future data and information to see if we can help better the management of these stocks. Whilst I'm on the fishing vessels, I was going to score two of these animals to see whether or not the social interactions can influence the number of in here. By working in sustainable fish research, I think I'll Has it got a handle? Have you got a push out? Ooh. Let's go back there. Push. Uphill. At about 2,000 metres, we're And just to base the That's it. So it says poops, but I pooed. I'm so stupid.
That's cool. Come here. Park. Reason. The polar ice tells us how the global climate is warm and cool, how greenhouse gases are fluctuating over time. They tell us that the levels of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere today are higher than at any time since the ice formed, and that accelerating fast. These are three projections. This could cause enormous changes to the polar climate, with profound impact on the polar regions. Sing now. The ice pack that covers the Arctic Ocean could melt, as could parts of the Antarctic ice sheet. If just the smaller West Antarctic ice sheet melts, sea levels could rise up to six meters. In the unlikely event that all the Antarctic ice melts, ocean levels could rise by over 73 meters. Melting ice could also play havoc with ocean currents. The Gulf Stream. Scotland and Northern Europe. 1979. That's how much ice there was. And that's how much was in 2003. I just think this one else was added. So. There's still much to discover about the extraordinary worlds we call the polar regions. And still much that they can tell us about our planet. I deserve all the time. I've got The polar regions are places of spectacular extremes, with winters of perpetual darkness and summers of constant sunlight. These are the coldest, harshest places on earth, but still life finds extraordinary ways to survive. Uh, just to let you all know, our 4 day flight to the Western African rainforest is just about to embark on its journey. There's not going to be another one for about 10-15 uh, minutes or so, so it's up to you guys to think so long.